Here we've got about a three, three and a half pound largemouth bass. And today we're gonna show you how to flay this fella and get the flays out without any bones. So let's get uh, going at that and show you how we do that. To start, we go right behind this fin and we come up right along the gill, right to the top of the head here, right down to the backbone. Then we go down that backbone, right down the dorsal fin there, all the way down to the tail. You can feel those bones with the tip of your uh, knife there. Now, we're gonna peel that back to the rib cage, and we're gonna go right up and over. You hear that? You can hear the rib cage, you can feel it. Just take your knife right up and over, peel him right on down. Now you wanna cut all the way down to the base of the tail, but you do not but you do not want to cut that off. You need that to hold that flay there so you can skin it now. We take our knife, put it down on an angle at about 40 degrees. And just follow the skin right on down. Now you got your nice flay there. No bone in it, but there is a little bit of cartilage and it runs right here where the rib cage was. So we're gonna go right down that edge and you can feel them there. So we're gonna cut that strip right out of there. Right there is all the cartilage that was holding that to the rib cage. Now you've got a nice bass filet without any bones or anything in it, ready to go. You can just see how thick the meat is there. Just excellent. Bass is great to eat. No matter what they say, largemouth is very good eating. Now we're gonna rotate this and do the same thing on the other side. Behind this fit, around the gill, up to the top of the head, and right down the backbone or the dorsal fin there. Lift that meat up and start working it right up over that rib cage. This is the best way to play fish and not have any bones. Just work that flay right off the, uh, the skin there. Again, real nice chunk of uh, bass flay there. We're gonna fill these bones right down this edge and we're gonna take them right out of there. Look. And again, they're not really bones, it's just cartilage connecting to the rib cage. Now we got another really nice bass filet with no bones ready to be cooked up. Thank you for joining us on flaying the largemouth bass and subscribe to our YouTube channel.